Captain's log, Stardate 6947.8. The Enterprise is approaching the space station at Sigma Draconis 7. Flint the Immortal is giving a concert, after which we will hold a briefing about his assisting my crew with a study of that facility. remarkable, Mr. Flint. Yes. Thank you for agreeing to give a concert for my crew. They don't often have the opportunity of live performances this far from Starbase. It was my pleasure. If you're ready, I'd like to go over a few details with you before our pre-mission briefing. Of course. After you, Captain. By the way, Tom, did they reschedule the four-hour protein analysis tests on the planetary soil samples yet? You know, to replace the soil test that was ruined when you left the oscillator on in the chem lab? I'm not sure what you're referring to. What test? What test? The soil sample test run you set up last shift, just after the captain's crew briefing about the mission on Lactra 7? I didn't set up the soil sample test. I was in the hangar deck during the brief and stayed there afterwards for two hours. I didn't get back to the lab until well after 1600. That must have been someone else you saw. But I saw you in the chem lab when you were setting up the irradiation oscillator for the test at 1320. Remember? You, you made a joke about Helen's uniform collar. Well, the chem team noted that the oscillator needed to be turned off after 10 minutes, but it had been left on for two hours. I'm sorry, Randy. I wasn't there. Someone else must have done that test and left the oscillator on, as you say. I could have sworn... Well... I guess I could have been mistaken. I thought you were there, and... It wasn't me. But you've been under a lot of stress lately, what with the loss of the aerial crew and all. I don't blame you for mistakenly thinking you saw me ruin that test. Hmm. Yeah, uh... Okay. Sure. Excuse me, officers. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spark? The argument you are employing, Mr. Markell, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of argument by gaslighting. His statements were kind of convincing. That may be so, Lieutenant Bryce, but his argument was not logically valid. Gaslighting is where a person presents a false narrative to another group or person in an attempt at leading them to doubt their perceptions and become misled, disoriented, or distressed. It is a disreputable technique whereby one attempts to manipulate someone into questioning their own reality and to disbelieve an idea that they know to be true by their own experience or knowledge. Normally, this dynamic is possible only when the speaker potentially holds power or authority over the listener, making them vulnerable or fearful of the losses associated with challenging the false narrative. In your statements refuting Miss Bryce's contentions, Mr. Markell, you, a superior officer, employed gaslighting techniques in an attempt to get her to change her position by making her question her own recollections and incorrectly accept that you did not ruin the test, when in fact you did. How do you know I, uh, that I may have ruined that test? I happen to recall in my review of science lab activities that you were logged into the soil sample test console during the time when the apparatus setup was altered, leading to a ruined protein analysis. And I must add that attempting such a discredited technique as gaslighting on a fellow officer or crew member is not in keeping with the Starfleet Code of Conduct for senior officers. Yes, I should definitely consider my actions more carefully in future. That would be best. Thank you, Commander Spock. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit such logical fallacies as argument by gaslighting. It's only logical 